Hi, I'm Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications. Uh, you may have noticed uh, some new wireless products on the market available in the 941 block. As part of the 2017 FCC frequency reallocation, the FCC opened up um, frequencies from 941 megahertz to 960 megahertz with a couple of gaps in the middle, which gives us about 16 megahertz of usable frequencies. Uh, this is available to licensed Part 74 users. People working in the film and television industry are now eligible for Part 74 licenses. And we have a link in the bottom that'll show you uh, more information about how to apply for a Part 74 license. Transmitters used in the 941 block are limited to 100 milliwatts of output power. And currently, the United States is the only country that allows the 941 block to be used. Canada is planning um, to release the 941 block for users, but there's no current ETA on that. So people operating in this band are responsible for coordinating with the Society of Broadcast Engineers in the area, also known as the SBE, whenever they can. So now the big question, why would you want to use the 941 block? Uh, the big answer is it's empty. Uh, we've got a couple of shots here that Electrosonics has put up from places around the country. And as you can see, it's either empty or close to it. So if you're having a hard time finding a frequency, 941 might be the, the right place for you. Uh, the other reason, if you're using a lot of wireless and you've got talent wireless and you've got camera hops and you've got IFBs, uh, the more separation you can have between your talent wireless and those transmitters that are going to be in your bag transmitting somewhere else, the better. So if you're using 941 as a camera hop or as an IFB transmitter and you're using your talent wireless anywhere from 470 to 608, that's over 300 megahertz of bandwidth in between your talent receivers and your IFB or camera transmitters. So that really takes out any chance that those camera transmitters could interfere with any of your talent wireless uh, and really gives you a lot more flexibility with what you're going to do with that lower spectrum 470 to 608. The 941 block also has much smaller transmitter antennas than other UHF frequency blocks, which can make it a lot easier to hide. All right, so what's available in 941? Uh, Electrosonics has their SM, HM, HH transmitters, and an SRC. Uh, they also have an IFB, T4, and R1As that actually start at 944. Uh, WYSICOM has antennas that go up to 900. Their MPR52 goes up to 900, so it seems like transmitters are coming. Now I'm sure other manufacturers are going to follow suit considering how empty uh, and useful this band is. So while anybody can purchase these new products in 941 to legally use the transmitters, you must have a Part 74 license. So please check out the video description below for a link with more information about Part 74. Thank you for watching and learning more about 941 megahertz. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, as always, you can email us ideas or questions at info at gothamsound.com. For the latest news, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And you can watch this video and more at gothamsound.tv.